to our team, Adam Rubin, DJ, will have the day's best highlights on the college football postgame show presented by Rocket Mortgage. Right now, the Gators only eight minutes away from a big win for Dan Mullen. We talked about the suspension of Zach Carter, who's played really well in the first half, and that Dan was fined $25,000 for his involvement in the Missouri thing last week. And uh, he said, you know, it's regrettable. It's not who I am. And then I think Jamie asked him, what effect did it have on your team? He said, I don't know that it had any effect. And he thought about it for a second. He said, you know, the second half of that game and all this week in practice, we've had a little edge to us. Maybe it was a wake-up call. Uh -huh. That's a nice spin on it. Uh, they may be right, though. They well, played good football since then. I've seen a lot of basketball coaches get a technical on purpose. Yeah, I don't, think this was a, I don't think this was on purpose. I don't think this was on purpose. Third down and 10. At the steep middle, into traffic, broke up. Intended for Matt Landers. So, complete. what do you do? You Matt Landers can't catch a pussy if it was in his fucking hand. Get him off the field, man. This nigga can't catch no damn balls. This dude is fucking doo doo. This nigga is doo doo, man. If he's ever going to blast one like he did earlier at 63, that would maybe be the time to do it. He did. Nice one. And here catch at the 26. By Tony. Dude, this fucking garbage, man. It's that fucking simple. Can't win no games with a trash ass quarterback. Point lead. The game tonight. Clemson without Trevor Lawrence. Clemson got that. I don't believe in the uh, fighting potato eaters. Speaking of 28 game winning streaks, weren't you and I involved in one of the longest winning streaks in ACC history that is celebrating sure its 25th anniversary this Florida weekend? Florida State, Virginia, right? Yeah. Warwick Dunn came up just a little bit short in Virginia at home, picked off the Seminoles of Florida State. So I think it won 33 in a row at that time. I don't remember. I think uh, we've, uh, we've, we've done a lot of games, so there's a possibility we did everything. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Draz. He's got a little pressure out of the game, but he still finds his receiver. Yep. And it's Malik Davis out of the backfield again. How about these running backs for Florida? It's been the story of the game, really. I mean, now that Kyle Pitts is out there, even leading up. I ain't even covering these running fucking running, running backs all it's damn like game. Kobe Dean tried to stay with number 20 and just he had one he was late. Remember when he had one earlier on the pass? Knowing they're going to throw it to these fucking running backs, man. If they can't run it, they're going to use these running backs in their passing game. Kyle Trask is saying, I've been doing this all year. And I do like the way they're coming back. You know, we got this lead by throwing it. We got a good quarterback. Let's trust them to take the clock down as long as we go. And let's move the ball and put this thing away. Take it down to two seconds. Stras comes up. Get ready to throw it. Oh. Yeah! Oh, come on! Got to catch that, nigga. He double-clutched it and allowed it. Fuck, man. Damn, well. Fuck wrong with you, man. So you gotta trust your quarterback when he double clutches it. Gotta catch that fucking ball, nigga. Damn, man, that was a damn pick six to the house. Fuck, man. Seven minutes for those two Georgia fans. Fucking garbage, man. Just what the dogs ordered to even think. Damn, man, gotta catch that fucking ball. No matter if you got 400 plus yards fucking passing, the passing game always going to be better than the running game. Again. 
You gotta fucking stay on him, man. Just let him, just let him stay open. Stupid motherfuckers, man. Been like they the whole fucking game ain't covering these fucking receivers. Once he caught it, the rest Damn. of the That's right. His eighth catch, but the biggest one so far, right there. Damn. Well, should have caught that fucking ball for a damn pick six. Fuck, man. Yo stupid ass with your fucking quarterback decisions. This is why we in this damn predicament now, you stupid motherfucker. Kirby Smart, dumb motherfucker. Overall defense giving up just over three hundred. Stupid son of a bitch. Been like this the whole fucking season. Garbage motherfucker, you garbage. With this offense. Your fucking quarterback decisions. Costing us games. For Georgia, this is what they've got coming up. And this is going to be the tough part for, you know, if you're a Georgia fan, you're going, listen, we're... Missouri next week, South... Missouri next week, Mississippi State after South Carolina and Vanderbilt. You're saying, we've got a ticket to Atlanta, all we have to do is beat Florida. They still got a slight chance, but... We ain't going to no damn SEC championship game, the way Florida playing. You can, you can, you can stop that. Stop that garbage. Injuries, missed tackles, missed coverage, garbage ass quarterback play. It has cost us this damn game and stupid um, decisions from the coach, Kirby Smart. This was a win or go home. It was a win or lose game. And it looks like Georgia didn't show up the fucking play. These injuries cost us, man. And you, it, a lot of shit cost us this fucking game, man. Oh, they got Arkansas next week. Felipe Frank versus Kyle Trash. Vanderbilt, Kentucky, Tennessee. Garbage. Oh shit, we can we can um we can beat Kentucky by eleven points, but so shit. They might be better than us on offense since they held the damn ball too long. I, I, I guarantee they better than us on offense. God, get, no, I wouldn't even want to talk to him. Fuck you, Stetson Bennett. Garbage ass. The one Mathis had a better game than you. He ain't even had that. And y'all didn't even give him a chance to fucking play. Garbage ass motherfucker. This dude is not a this dude is not a starter for any team, especially he in the SEC. He's not an SEC quarterback. You got a good quarterback, you got a good chance. Damn. That fuck that fucking simple. Hit his ass. Yeah. I don't know why the hell they didn't go for the field goal. Uh, 
I don't know what the hell Dan Mullen was thinking about on that play. These stupid ass fucking commercials and shit. Remember he was on the receiving end of a targeting in the first half. Did not return. Has not returned. Hopefully he'll be back for the next game. And now here's Georgia with 5.06. One timeout. Trailing by 13 and 82 scores. 5.06 left. Draw play, James Cook. Anytime Florida holds Georgia short of their first down, it's a win for the defense. This is what Georgia's got to regroup and hustle the line before they have a little more time. Get Matt Landers off the field. This nigga is garbage. Dude is garbage, man. I play that other stuff. I'm coming at it. Just can't do it. Just, just can't do it. Just saw the ball sail over Todd's head over there on the sideline. Dude is fucking trash, man. Here's Georgia's maybe last chance. One quarterback wasn't even supposed to be fucking playing today. They didn't give Mathis a fucking chance. That's his second interception of the season. Stetson Bennett, he had two one game, three in the Alabama game, and I think two today. So that's seven fucking interceptions, if not six. But hell, who's counting? No, t no, how, no telling how many fucking interceptions he's going to have if they, if they still starting this motherfucker. Two for Kyle Trash. 30. He's hit it. Now under center for a few times. Hands off to Darius Tony and a hand around. He got a yard. Bonnie Rice 
wrestles him to the ground. Georgia can't stop it anymore. Miss Straight Matthew, you did you did what you could do. It ain't your fault. You got a trash can quarterback like Stetson Bennett, and you can't rely on the defense all the time when you once when you getting burnt by fucking elite, by six foot six tight ends and shit. Hold your head up, son. You did all right. I'm surprised they put him in the fucking game. I'm surprised they ain't let the trash can Bennett play all the time. And I don't want to hear what the fuck y'all got to say. Y'all Disney dog, Facebook motherfuckers, talking about the one Matthews garbage. We don't know how good he is. This is his second time playing this year. This is his second time playing this year in a game like this. We don't got an elite quarterback. We don't got an experienced quarterback who can win us games against, against high-powered offenses. So, uh, congratulations to Florida. Y'all was the better team today. Uh, fuck you, Kirby Smart. Garbage-ass motherfucker. Um, I, I, I can't wait to hear what, you, what excuses you got to say in the press conference, motherfucker, for this um, loss. Pierce runs into the Georgia wall. The touch of the lead after the 10-yard line. Just gotta, just gotta make some adjustments and get ready for Missouri next week. No play, no playoffs this year, Georgia fans. No playoffs this year. We didn't have an elite quarterback. We didn't have different um plays that we could innovate on the offense. We kept doing the same shit year after year after year with mediocre to garbage ass quarterbacks. Look at this motherfucker, that curly ass hell midget. Can't you can't win with a midget like that? You can't win like that. This has been a weird. This has been a strange year. Not because of the coronavirus. It's just been a strange year. Knowing damn well we didn't have nothing going into this game or any other games at the quarterback position that could have got us this win it's just these injuries these injuries these missed opportunities in the game missed passes overthrown passes you know, in the last three big games that Georgia's played, the 2018 SEC Championship game, 35 points Alabama scored. The 2019 Championship game, LSU scored 37. Then they lost to Bama, 41 points. And then tonight, again, they've given up 41. Their defense in these big games, these four big games, have given up 38 points a game. When you're going up against elite high-powered offenses, you're going to give up points. The Florida man finally showed up and did some. Congratulations, Florida. Even though I hate y'all, congratulations, y'all with a better team. Better coaching, too. That Pitts kid, he's going to be an elite player in the NFL, whoever gets him. He got the size, he got the speed, he got it all. Just, just missed opportunities. Matt Jones, Trevor Lawrence, Kyle Trask, and Justin Fields in no particular order. Those are the four people who um, are Heisman, uh, the Heisman candidates for the Heisman this year. I don't want to hear shit about Stacey Bennett being in the Heisman candidate. 
he, he would never touch a Heisman candidate. And I'm glad that this is last year. I don't want to see him next year. I don't know how a quarterback situation is going to be next year. With Brock Vandegrift come again, is is Kirby Smart going to let him um do what he got to do on offense? I don't know what the hell it is with these different quarterbacks, man. But Georgia don't want no black quarterback leading them to victory. Is that is is that fucking simple? Is that simple? The right players should be playing. We wouldn't be in this shit. If Kirby Smart played the right person in 2018, that was a domino effect of of shit to come. Can't wait to see um Uncle Lou um um your season is over video tomorrow because um my season is over. Get ready to be in the um bowl game. Uh, but we got to see which bowl game we're gonna be in because we ain't going to the playoffs. It's that simple. No SEC championship in our uh, future. I thought he intercepted it, but James Cook caught it. That one's just coming to him, but Cook got a hand to tip it. Then Elam, then he pats it back to Cook. Okay, here you go. I don't know what the hell happened on that play, but nice catch. What the hell? First down. Not that first down. Pick up the Congratulations, Florida. Y'all deserved it. You see the score. You see the L that Georgia took. Kirby Smart, you son of a bitch. You cost us this game. A lot of things cost us this game. But Kirby Smart, decision fucking making. And stupidity with the quarterback situation has cost us um a trip to Atlanta this season. But we'll we'll see what bowl game we're gonna be in. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Donate if y'all can. I need something. The way Georgia has been playing, I don't give a fuck if it's a dollar, fifty cents, a million dollars, something. Congratulations, Dan Mullen. The Florida man finally got that monkey off his back. I'm just gonna get ready to um. Get ready for this Missouri game next week. All we gotta do is just, you know. All we gotta do is just get ready for next week and see what we can improve on. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Go dogs, I guess. Curry Smart, fuck you. And Stetson Bennett, kiss my black ass. Peace.